You know, it's no secret that one of my favorite things to review on this channel is tea, and within that genre, there's a subsection where I love to review kombucha. Now, before we get into it, if that is a surprise to you, then clearly you're not watching enough of my videos, and that hurts me severely. So drop a subscription, turn on notifications, so you guys get notified anytime I make any awesome new content, whether it's food reviews, game reviews, game videos or live streams so you guys can come and hang out with me at your leisure. But today we're going to be looking at Rowdy Mermaid Kombucha. Now I saw this at Whole Foods and I had to pick it up. Normally you guys know I stick to my GTs, my Kavita, my Brew Doctor, and I like to kind of branch out every so often and see, you know, interesting new flavors if I see this. And by a title or name per se of Rowdy Mermaid, that really drew my eye. And it comes in a can and canned kombucha it's a little different to me. I've reviewed canned kombucha before, but I'm so used to the glass bottle that I feel like there's gonna be something special with this. Now, the uh, flavor I picked up here is immunity, which is savory peach, and it says it's peach and thyme, which is interesting because thyme being an herb and peach being a really sweet fruit, I think this is gonna be just a very interesting kombucha. Now, I'm sorry, I was reading the mission statement for a second, and it says this kombucha is flavored based on function. Everybody knows what time is all about, right? It's in our spice racks and in the chorus of the famous folk song. But you may not know that it's also an herb with properties that are known to boost immunity. So while you might think we've added it into our savory peach brew just for its flavor, it's also been invited for its function because flavor based on function is just peachy. Now, I really like that description. I really like this mission statement. So y'all get, get a pass on that one. But it's one thing to create kombucha that has function, um, but, I know a lot of us are gonna be waiting for the flavor. Is this gonna be kombucha that's something you could pick up, something you wanna try, and something worth being in your fridge? Now, when we look at the side, per can, it's 45 calories. It has nine grams of carbohydrates, nine grams of sugar, no protein, and the ingredients are brew tea, uh, brew tea, brewed tea, which is filtered water, organic green tea, organic black tea, organic cane sugar is in your organic thyme, organic peach flavor, Wonf, I don't know what that is, W-O-N-F, I'm gonna have to look that one up, and organic peach powder with live cultures. Now, kombucha is great, for anyone who doesn't know, for having live probiotics, which is great for gut health and immunity and just kind of rebuilding your body because at the end of the day, every function of your body starts with the food you consume. So you wanna be sure, you know, to live a healthy life, you wanna be sure you're putting things into your body that your body can use to make you healthier and to build your own immunity. So. Rowdy Mermaid Kombucha looks like they're out of Colorado uh, and it's Nordic inspired, which I'm not really sure what that means, but all right. Um, it says it's non-GMO, low sugar, it's plant-based, gluten-free, and contains less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. Now, you might wonder why that's on there. And for anyone who doesn't know, kombucha, because of the fermentation process, it does produce trace amounts of alcohol, but it's not enough that it'll give you a buzz unless you probably drink like 46 of these. So let's open this up and let's see what Rowdy Mermaid is all about. Now, I don't like rowdiness and a Rowdy Mermaid just really sounds like a bad time. But I'm, ha, time, because time's in it, get it, ha. But I'm really hoping that this isn't as rowdy if it's claimed to be. And offhand, it gives a really nice scent off. It's a very almost floral -y scent, which might be the time. I'm not really sure. I haven't had time in my food in a while, so I'm not really sure that the flavor of thyme, but it, I have a weird feeling it's gonna taste like basil, um, which I don't think would go good, but let's try it out. So it's interesting. Um, it's good in the sense of it tastes like a, a low sugar iced tea with peach in it i'm not really getting a lot of flavor of the time there there is a little herbalness to it but it's not anything overwhelming because in itself compared to kombuchas i've had before where they're very vinegary very strong in flavor this isn't this is lightly carbonated and in itself tastes like a tea like it doesn't taste like a vinegar in that sense uh and it's good for you know being a light brewed well, it's not light brute, but being a lighter tasting kombucha. You taste the tea, 
you taste a little bit of the peach, and I guess you'll taste a little bit of the thyme. Um, and I'm only saying that because I'm not, like I, I mentioned, I'm not really sure what thyme tastes like, so there's something in there that's not tea and it's not peach, so I'm gonna guess it's the thyme, and if it's not, then I'm wrong. Um, but as a canned kombucha, this thing would be perfect. Like, if you're hanging out outdoors, I feel like. It's a light beverage that doesn't hit your stomach hard, um, and it doesn't overpower you with flavor or strength, um, but it does pack the live probiotics that kombucha is known for, so you're gonna get all those benefits and that functional benefit, as they claim, from the time. So I do like this. I do like this as a kombucha that is mellow, a kombucha that's not overpowering, and a kombucha that's not all that rowdy. So that's a little bit of false advertisement, but we'll let it pass because I feel it's, excuse me, I feel like in a weird way this kombucha is said to be meant for a certain demographic. And I don't want to be rude about that because just Rowdy Mermaid, the flavor, the non overpoweringness, I feel like this is meant for that casual bunch of kombucha drinkers that isn't someone who would go for like a GTs or, or, or um, a Kavita like I would. And someone just coming into the kombucha game, this isn't bad. This is something that, you know, it might be kombucha, but you would never know. It kind of tastes like a sparkling seltzer. Or it honestly tastes like a hard seltzer in a weird way, but um, I digress. This is a good kombucha, and I think for anyone, if you come across this, you should try it out. It is USDA certified organic with the low sugar, low calorie. Kombucha is usually low calorie as it is. This is something that I think many of you will enjoy, um, and it's just different, especially with these hot days coming up in the summer. This is gonna be like a nice sitting by the pool, sitting at the beach kombucha, um, and it'll just keep you going. It's good, it's refreshing. I'm not gonna lie about that. It's very, very refreshing. Um, so with that being said, guys, if you've had Rowdy Mermaid Kombucha before, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. See you, bye.